Welcome, thank you for being with us. I'm Sue, and this is my dear friend Sharon. <laughs> I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit today about burnout. Burnout is something that one point or another in our lives, many of us experience because we get so busy with life, or maybe just we have one day that that happens, or maybe it's day after day. So I'm gonna share with you, um, the two of us will be sharing a remedy for that. With burnout, it's, we need to take time, we need to make that time to rest. We have to become dedicated to our resting, to recovering, whether it be in that one, after something just very stressful event or an ongoing thing. And another thing with burnout is we want to reflect inwardly and drop into becoming aware, not only of our success in our careers, but also is our heart being fulfilled? Are the things that we're doing, are we loving those things? Are we enjoying the moments of our day? Are we enjoying the food that we're eating? Are we enjoying our interactions with our loved ones? our relationships with children or husbands or wives. All these things when we get so involved into the doing aspect and we forget about our heart center can lead to burnout. So I want to invite you to reflect on that for a few moments and we'll have a short meditation together. And so get yourself or bring yourself into a comfortable position and just allow your eyes to close and shift your awareness from your external focus now into your internal focus, connecting inward with yourself. Your answers lie within yourself. Only you can really truly know what is touching your heart what is aggravating you? What is, brings you peace? And this can be known and learned through looking inside, asking, noticing in different moments. So in this very moment, are you enjoying what you're doing? Are you feeling motivating, motivated to nurture yourself? Does that feel something like you want to do more of. So if you feel that you want to nourish and nurture yourself more, then make a commitment in this moment. You may start small. It can be five minutes a day or 10, then 20, then 20 minutes two times a day. But whatever it is that you're doing to nourish and nurture you, I want you to do it from a place that you're loving doing it. I'm not gonna run so many kilometers or so many miles so that I can be healthy. No, I want to do it, that's good too, but I want to do it so that I, because I love running and I'm going to be, become healthy. So I want you to really think about loving what you're doing and when you're moving through your day, you wake up each morning, you get up out of bed, and just follow along with me. What's the first thing you do? If you live with another, I invite you to greet them. Good morning, I love you. Good morning, have a wonderful day. And the same thing when you go to sleep at night acknowledging those who are around us. But from the first moment of our day to when we get up, how does your body feel in the morning? Are you leaving yourself enough time to get ready? Go through your ritual. Are you feeding yourself healthy food? Do you know what your body needs? Getting dressed and doing your day as it unfolds for you. And when you're going through your day tomorrow, notice what brings you joy. What are you enjoying doing? Maybe many things, or maybe nothing, or somewhere in between. 
So as part of our practice and meditation, we're just going to elevate our awareness around this. Because until we are aware of these things, we cannot make changes. So allow yourself to be aware as a first step. But be aware with an attitude of gentleness and kindness towards yourself. You have done nothing wrong, but now we're correcting possibly, and creating a more joyful, relaxed and loving life. So notice your breath now. Relax your face. Allow the breath to move in and out with awareness. So when we bring our mind to our breath, we are bringing ourselves into the moment because the breath is in the moment. The mind is either in the past or the future. The more detailed you can come with your breath, the more in the moment you will become. So notice the air as it comes in through the insides of the nostrils. See if you can feel the air passing over the upper lip or between the lip and the nose. See if you can notice the breath touching the back of the throat. your mind is a bit quieter, gently allow the eyes to open. So this next practice is one that you can do when you come home from work, after a long trip, or you've been driving in the car for a long time. Anytime you feel you need to relax and rest and de-stress a little bit. So we're going to be taking our legs, or Sharon is going to be taking her legs up the wall, and you are welcome to do this with us. So we'll come up, and I'm going to ask Sharon to sit next to the wall. So you want to have something against the wall, either a blanket or a yoga mat if you have one. Sit at the edge of the mat, move a little bit more forward, tiny bit, mm -hmm. and then you're going to come down onto your side and shift your buttocks right to the wall. So you want to be on the side of your body with both buttocks cheeks touching the wall. And then from there, you're going to swing your legs up onto the wall and straighten the legs. Now, if you find that you have tight hamstrings, you may move yourself a little bit farther from the wall. And if you need to, you can actually bend your legs at the knees. We'll just demonstrate this. Open the legs a little bit and place the feet on the wall. And then you can slowly straighten, but if, you, if you're not able to straighten all the way, feel free to move yourself back away from the wall, so your body. But if you can get up against the wall, you can take your legs together again. Uh, in this position, then you can um, relax very well with lots of support underneath your body. But at the same time honoring, because I know there's a lot of tight hamstrings out there, and that's fine. So, an eye bag, if you have one, very nice to put over the eyes. And the hands can rest on the body if you'd like, or at the sides of the body. Or you can do a, a, a variety of hand positions. So in this position, I'd like you to just imagine that there is a wave of a waterfall of water just coming down over your body and washing over you. Feel your back resting into the earth. Soften the back. Feel so your back is, back is spreading on the earth. I'm going to have you bring your hands down just for a moment here at the side. So you can rest with your hands at the sides like this if you'd like. Or you can have them up overhead in cactus arms like this. 
or you can rest your hands on your body. I'll let you choose and experiment with that, whatever feels supportive for you. For some of you, you may wish to have a little something under the head. I'm gonna have you bring your hands down to the sides of your body again. I'm going to make a little bit of support for Sharon. Go ahead and relax down. She has a little bit more support for her head. Left to head for one second. And down. Right. Yeah, so that little shift made her happy. <laughs> So you wanna be very comfortable in the pose is the main point. So having the legs in this position is very relaxing uh, for the circulatory system and for your body and also very refreshing and rejuvenating for your head. So you can rest here for up to five, 10, 15 minutes and then get up and go on with your day. This is something very simple that is available for all of us. We just need a floor and a wall. So, while you're resting here, imagining that waterfall flowing down over the legs, pooling in your belly, filling your belly like a still lake, and then whoosh, washing out over your body and let yourself be relieved from stress with each drop of water that's flowing over you. Healing water is flowing down and over you and out your hands and your head. We'll stay with that visualization for a few breaths as you relax into the earth. Feel your body resting on the earth. Feel as though any stress is just releasing into the earth. You can stay here for as long as you like. And then as you're ready, feel free to bend the legs at the knees. Place the feet on the wall. And then you'll just roll over to the right side. You can pause here just for a moment. This is actually really nice for the low back. If you had any low back uh, discomfort during the day, you can pause there for a moment and breathe there. And then you can roll off to the side and come up as you're ready. Feel free to sit up against the wall if you like. Sitting for a moment, letting the eyes close, enjoying the feeling of rest after Maybe it, what was a stressful day for you. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure, as always, to be with you. <laughs>